Hi everybody, Patrick here from Engineering Shop Electronics, engineeringshop.com. Today I'm going to show you how to drive an electromagnetic lock using an external relay board. And for this we're going to need a 5 volt wall adapter, an electromagnetic lock not seen on the screen right now, and a 5 volt relay board. You can get them on eBay for like a buck. If you get them on Amazon they're like 5 or 6 bucks. But in any case, most of these relay boards will have three input pins and three switching pins. Don't worry about the switching pins for now. Sorry about the lighting. I'm stuck somewhere where I can't, uh, I don't have proper lighting. Uh, the relay will have three pins for the input. DC plus or VCC or five volts or 5V. All of those mean the same thing. That's the power supply pin. You want to place five volts there. So DC plus, VCZ or five volt, 5V. DC minus, G and D or zero V is ground. So you want to place your ground here and this is your in signal. So this is can, can be uh, called in or sig. So uh, DC plus in this case, DC minus are our power supply pins, and our trigger pin is in. So we're gonna what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use an external relay board to drive this because while we can completely use the Arduino Uno to power and drive this, uh, I find that the EMI given off by a, a switch to an electromagnetic lock can sometimes uh, reset the Arduino Uno. So what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to take the end off one of these, cut it off, and you'll find inside either a red or green, or white and black, or red and black wire. So let's see what we have here. We got red and green. Red is positive, green is negative, and if you don't believe it, uh, what you can always do is you can get to set your multimeter to measure DC voltage, uh, plus your, place your red probe here, and your black probe here, if it reads negative 5 volts, then I was wrong, then the, the polarity is switched. However, if I've got my red probe here, and I've got my black probe here, and I'm reading 5 volts, then it's, then we've got the correct polarity. This is DC plus, this is DC minus. So what I'm going to do for DC minus, is we're going to need an extra ground connection. So I'm going to add in another wire to connect to our Arduino Uno, because we need to have the grounds connected. I'm going to connect the ground to DC minus, and positive, to uh, DC plus. I've spliced another wire on here uh, just to make it longer and so I had a, a male pin and so that's our extra ground line connected to GND. I haven't yet but what I will do is I will tape this down so that there's no way that this ground pin can short to anything. I've got another extended wire which again I will tape down the, the uh, exposed copper here. And I'll connect one pin to SIG or IN. In this case it's IN. I got this specific relay board on Amazon. I want to connect the other end to GPIO pin too. It can be any GPIO pin you want. Um, and so now we are connected. So now when we power this, this on, this will power the relay and uh, we, will, we will use the Arduino Uno to only send an activation, sound, an activation signal to it. So now on the other side of things, We've got three switching pins, NO, COM, and NC. NO is normally open, COM is common, NC is normally closed. So when the relay is off, COM is connected internally to normally closed. When the relay turns on, COM disconnects from NC and connects over to NO, normally open. When the relay turns off, COM disconnects from, from, um, from CO, or uh, uh, NO, and connects back to NC. So these two pins when the relay are connected when the relay is off, these two pins are connected when the relay is on. And the relay is completely isolated from the rest of the electronics, so we can use another 12 volt adapter and uh, and a, an electromagnetic lock with this as the on off switch. So let's do that. Here's an electromagnetic lock, standard 12 volt, takes about 200 milliamps, 12 volts, red and black wire, red is positive, black is negative. I've got a 12 volt adapter right here, and I'll take off the insulation. The reason why I'm not going to heat add heat heat shrink to this is because I'm going to recycle these parts as soon as this video is done. But here we go. We've got a black and a white wire. Black is negative, white is positive. So let's take the ends off. Connect black to black, and if we connect our white wire to a red wire and we plug it in, our electromagnetic lock will turn on. However, we're not going to do that. We're going to connect this wire to common, CO, and the other one to 
NO, normally, or sorry, to NC, normally closed. So when we plug it in and the relay is off, the magnetic lock is active. When the relay turns on, the, the, the circuit breaks and the magnetic lock opens. Okay, first things first, you got my extension cord. Let's plug in our relay or our magnetic lock, see what happens. And we're locked. Next, we'll plug in the uh, relay board. We got a power LED. So now let's plug in our Arduino. Sorry for the mess. And the output turns on. Relay board is, or uh, sorry, electromagnetic lock is disconnected. So now I'm going to write a little piece of code that turns the magnetic lock on and off. And there we have it. Every five seconds, relay turns on, every, and then it turns off for five seconds. So right now, the relay's on, the magnetic lock is deactivated. Now it's back for five seconds, deactivated. So let's go look over at the code. Nothing fancy here. Very simple code. Define relay as GPIO pin two, int counter equals zero, in setup, pin mode relay output. So set up our relay as an output on GPIO pin two. Digital write relay high because it's active low. So, and when you set the uh, the trigger pin, in this case, in to high, the relay is off. When you turn it low, when you set it low, it turns on. Uh, serial begin 9600, so we can use our serial monitor. And in our loop, this will loop over and over and over again. Delay, 5,000 milliseconds, five, sec five seconds. Turn the relay on by digital write relay low. Wait another five seconds. Turn the relay on by setting it, turn the relay off by setting the output high. Counter plus plus, meaning we're going to increment counter. And then we're going to serial print to the serial monitor counter. So as you can see, every single time the relay turns on, we increment the counter by one. So the relay has been turned on and off 15 times. And yeah, so the reason again why we're using an external power supply for the relay board is uh, I've found that if you drive the relay board directly, again, no problem, we're driving the relay board with Arduino. But uh, if you're driving a relay board with the Arduino and uh, you're, you're powering uh, an external electromagnetic lock, I found that the Atmega chip can get, uh, can get reset because of the EMI. So I just wanted to make this video. I hope you find it helpful. Um, excuse me. If you're going to do this yourself, please make sure that you're absolutely using heat shrink insulation for your connections. If you have to make have any open copper connections, I just use painter's tape in this video because I plan on taking it all apart. Uh, Oh, as always, when you're using relays to power things, you do so at your own risk. I just wanted to provide some information, and so I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, everyone.